Hi, I'm Mark Begani, and this is Tasting Tuesdays. Well, today we've got a special guest here. I've got another human with me. Um, his name is Blake A. Bear, and Blake is the founder of the Louisiana Bourbon Collective, um, which is a very, very elite group. You have to uh, you have to do all these uh, in, in, like initiation things to get in. You have to. No, it's not true. Um, it's a it's a great group. I'm a member of it, uh, and I'm going to let Blake talk a little bit about it. But I just want to talk about my experience with it because I'm the important one here. Um, so my experience with uh, LBC is uh, that it's a group of people that, that um, care about whiskey and they like to talk about whiskey and they're really helpful with each other too. There's been several times when I have been interested in a bottle and <clears throat> without me even asking, some other member of LBC has uh, contacted me and said, hey, I, you know, I saw that you were talking about that particular whiskey. Um, I have a bottle of it. I, you know, let's, let's, I'll give you some samples of it. You know, let's do a trade, something like that. And it's, it's always been really amazing that, that it's such a great community. And, and that's something that, uh, that Blake has created. So I'm gonna let Blake talk a little bit now. Tell me a little bit more about LBC. When did you start it? Um, <coughs> and what's it about? Well, first of all, thank you for the praise. We appreciate that. Yeah. We do have the best members uh, that, that I'm aware of in any group. So. Uh, we started so. in, in late 2008, and it was really it was formed out of a want to find other people locally around the state. Uh, we knew which stores in our area did certain things. We wanted to see which stores in other areas, which members in other areas, what are guys drinking in the northern part of the state, you know, right, east to west. Right, right. We wanted to kind of connect everyone in Louisiana to say, hey guys, we enjoy bourbon. We know you guys do out in your hometowns. And so we'd like to connect with you and, uh, and, and make those relationships. And it's really worked out great. So again, we started in 2008, um, just as a let's find some people to share this common interest. And how many and members do you have now? So at this point, we're at about 1,400. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, we had some issues with Facebook, but uh, we were Facebook, at yeah, Facebook can, can be a little <laughs> bit, uh, a little bit so over, overbearing when it comes to whiskey groups. We were at 2300 at one point. We'd like yeah. to get back there, so please feel free to uh, look for an ad, find the group, Louisiana Bourbon Collective, LBC, yeah, you know uh, me. on Facebook. So uh, please request an ad. And, and what we like to do is, is just share information, share wealth. We have guys who review bottles. Uh, they show you what they're drinking. They show you where they shop. Uh, and again, if you are someone who is looking for something in particular, uh, there are people out there who are willing to help you find those things. Which is awesome. Uh, if it's just the information, sometimes it's the physical bottle, sometimes it's a trade, a sample. It's a way for you to just, it's just a big resource. It's a resource for everyone. And that's what we always intended it to be. That's great. Um, and is it just for people in Louisiana? Absolutely not. So of course, uh, the surrounding states, we have members in Texas, Arkansas, Alabama, Mississippi. Um, and we do have some guys from other places as well who just like the camaraderie. They like what we do back and forth, uh, and they enjoy just hanging out and watching and, and being a part of that. That's awesome. Like I said, it's it's uh, it's you, I, I've seen on other Facebook groups, Facebook whiskey groups, where if you don't know exactly what you're talking about, they'll pounce on you and they'll they'll make fun <laughs> of the fact that you don't know your your whiskey shit. Um, and this is definitely not that. If you're new to whiskey, this is a great place to come and learn. Um, if you're an expert in whiskey, you know you know everything there is to know. Um, people will uh, embrace you with open arms and, and be excited about the fact that you're bringing your knowledge into this group. So um, I, I really love that about this this group. And so to, to further that point, yeah. and I appreciate <clears throat> you saying that. So uh, we don't allow open trades, sales, secondary, uh, none of that stuff. So if if you're looking to make money. Uh, or people who are looking to make money on others with bourbon, it's not the site for you. It's right. simply just a group of members helping each other, and that's why we won't keep it. That's great. Well, we're sitting here today. Um, it's a day after Mardi Gras is when we're recording this, and uh, we are going to re review a couple of bottles here. We've got the um, uh, Smoke Wagon from Nevada. Uh, what is it? Nevada, Nevada H, H and C Distilling Company. I didn't know that part, but it's Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered Straight Bourbon Whiskey from Las Vegas. A lot of buzz about this particular bottle. 
And we also have something that, that another bottle that's, that's been creating a lot of buzz, which is the Jack Daniels Single Barrel Special Release Tennessee Rye Whiskey. Um, it's becoming harder and harder to find because of this buzz. Um, let's take a, uh, a taste of both of these and find out what we think. But first, let's talk about each of these bottles. Here you go. Smoke Wagon Uncut Unfiltered Bourbon Whiskey Batch 36 is from Nevada h &C Distilling Company. There's no age statement and it was distilled by MGP in Indiana. It has a high rye mash bill. Unfortunately, I didn't take a photo of this bottle, but the proof from batch 35 was 115.36, so it should be similar. The bottle's retail price is $60 to $70. Aged in the Nevada desert, this bespoke blended bourbon has gained popularity recently, and Smoke Wagon released 21 batches of uncut unfiltered in 2020 alone. The bottle comes with a stamped wax seal of two guns crossed and the phrase Bibimus moriendum est, denoting drink for we must die. Or according to the company, drink and enjoy today because we won't be around forever. Jack Daniels Single Barrel 2020 Special Release Barrel Proof Rye is limited to just 200 barrels. The reviewed bottle is 129.8 proof. It uses the distillery's newest mash bill since Prohibition and is 70% rye, 12% malted barley, and 18% corn. Retail price is around $65. It is created, like all of Jack Daniels Tennessee whiskeys, using the Lincoln County process, also known as LCP, which is the act of filtering the distillate through 10 feet of sugar maple charcoal. Barrels for it were aged in the highest areas of the barrel house. All right, now that you're somewhat of an expert on both of these bottles, and you could probably work for the distributor because you know so much, let's actually do some tasting. Uh, what would you like to start with? You want to start with the, uh, the smoke wagon? That's what you've already started with. <laughs> you're one step ahead. It's already in my glass. Smart, smart man. Um, what, what are these glasses we're using? Oh yeah, they're New Orleans Bourbon Fest glasses. Tracy Napolitano, uh, the founder of the New Orleans Bourbon Fest, uh, is a man to get to know if you're into whiskey. And if and when we have another uh, New Orleans Bourbon Fest, you need, definitely need to come down and, and, and check it out. Um, so what are your first impressions? I, don't, I know you probably don't do impressions, but you know, let's, let's, let's talk about your first whiskey impression. So it, it's a little bit lighter than I hoped for. And this, this is batch, just so you guys oh, know, yeah. this is batch 36. Yeah, that's 36. Uh, you're certainly getting the rye spice on the nose. Okay. You can smell just a bit of grain. The sweetness is not overly present. Yeah. I'm getting a little bit, you know, it's maybe it's just power of suggestion, but uh, something we were drinking earlier, you mentioned juicy, you mentioned juicy fruit. Yep. And I get a little bit of that on this too. <clears throat> I can see that. It's maybe an interesting it's note. A little bit of butterscotch on the nose. Yeah. The old yellow candies. Let's taste it. It's interesting, I, you know, um, you mentioned high rye mash bill. And I'm, I'm getting some of that. Um, yeah. Kind of the classic rye. is a little bit of like um, bright, like um, cucumbers covered in vinegar for me. Like this kind of bright cucumbery thing, which is kind of interesting. Um, Medium to long finish. Yeah. This particular batch has a good finish to it, but I also tend to swish all over my mouth, uh, which adds to that. Yeah, I think this, you know, I... I I tried uh, a bottle of this, a different batch, uh, about a month and a half ago, and I actually ended up uh, taking two ounces of it and giving it a try, and then uh, sold it to somebody for less than I paid for it, um, just you know, uh, because I really wasn't into it. And I figured somebody else was really into it; they deserved to have that bottle because it's kind of hard to find, um, and so. I, I wasn't really into it. And it was mostly because of the finish. I felt it was kind of accurate. But I do feel like this, this finish is better on this particular batch than, than it was on the other one. And by better, I mean not super hot, not super biting, not super dry, um, richer, more mouth coating, um, a bit sweeter, a bit longer. Um, what do you think? Not a whole lot of oak. Not a whole lot of oak at all. Really not. You know, more, more grain, a little bit of sweetness. Yeah. Uh, 
I'm not getting a whole lot of dark, dark fruits. Yeah. I think the fruits are a little bit brighter in this one. It's interesting. Sometimes I, I sip whiskeys <clears throat> and um, I don't have a lot to say about them. And that's because there's nothing specific, no really intense, obvious slap your face kind of kind of uh, flavors going on there. I think that's a great description you for know, this and, particular and batch. That's, that's what this is. It's, it's, it's going to... It's got a, a grassy nose for me, a little bit of that. Yep. Um, it it just doesn't uh, it doesn't spank me and you know and say hey I'm I'm I'm, I'm I've got all these crazy interesting flavors going on. Um, this is another another example of uh, a whiskey that's become harder to find, and it's relatively pricey. What's the the, the price range of this? Uh, it's sixty nine retail. Right. You know, for us, it's not available in Louisiana, so. Uh, when we get these shipped in, we try to get them at right about 75 right, per. Right. And we buy six packs a case, yeah. and we try to get them at that price. Yeah. 75 or less. And, and you know, uh, we talk sometimes about value of a bottle. And just because a bottle costs X amount of money or it sells in the secondary market for X amount of money doesn't mean it's definitely worth that particular amount. Or sometimes it's worth more than that. And I feel like this bottle, I would pay, you know, 50 bucks for this bottle. It's It's interesting. But I don't know that I'd pay, you know, seventy-five or, or hundred or whatever, you know, it's it's selling for in, in, in secondary market. Um, what do you think? Would you would you? You're, you're I would cool say, with it? <clears throat> I would say that this is a crowd pleaser. This is not something that the super super mature palate is going to love. Yeah. Because, like you said, there's nothing. There's no one element or multiple elements that just stick out very strongly. Sure. I think that this is something that uh, could please a party, could please a group. Yeah. And um, I think it's, it's a good whiskey. It's not the best batch of other batches that I've had. Hmm, interesting. But, but I do feel like it is a good whiskey, and it would be good for a group of people who are uh, interested in learning and drinking and sure. tasting bourbon. It's not too hot, you know, 57.68. It's surprisingly, so yeah, I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's, nope. it's surprisingly not hot for Right, you're it's, just it's under proof. 115 proof. Yeah. So it, it'd be a good introduction to those who are trying to look at a higher proof. Yeah. But maybe haven't acclimated themselves there yep. yet. Yep. Um, and then aesthetically for a party, I mean, guys, it's a pretty, it's pretty beautiful bottle. Yeah. It's a beautiful bottle. It is. So. All right. So we're going to get on to the, uh, the Jack Daniels next and, uh, that's coming up. It's so we're back here at Club Ferda. <laughs> Ferda. 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 Um, it's raining outside, so we got that going for us. It's been weird. Let's talk about the weather a little bit because everybody in the whiskey world really wants to know about weather. They're very fascinated by that. Weather and whiskey. Yeah. Whiskey and weather. We should start a new, <laughs> a new video, just video series called Whiskey yeah, and Weather because right. people really give a shit about Look, weather. It's a great time to be drinking whiskey. It's always, yeah, it's always good. That says it all. All right. With that, we're moving on. We're, we're going to have some of this Jack Daniels single barrel special release Tennessee rye whiskey. Uh, this stuff is 129.8 proof. Um, it is... 70% rye, so it's pretty high rye mash bill. Yep. Um, and probably should have already poured it before we started this video, but hell, okay. let's do it now. Let's show it again. So, <clears throat> so this special release comes from the highest place in the Rick House. So, you know, we would expect uh, a quick aging, a high proof, and just because we have the 129.8, guys, every state, even South Shore versus North Shore, mm. We had different proofs in all areas. So uh, I think the, the South Shore had 130.4, and we have 129.8 on the North Shore. And we say South Shore, we're talking about Lake Pontchartrain because we live in you know the New Orleans area. Um, but yeah, it's, it's interesting. Uh, I tasted uh, one other batch of this. I don't, I don't know if it's the same one or not, but a friend brought a little sample over. And I found it interesting, and I'm, I'm looking forward to tasting this again. It does have a nose that jumps out. Yeah, it's a, it's um, it's interesting. You know, it's so weird because the first thing that popped in my head was the 2019 Handy, which I've been talking about before. <clears throat> it very much reminds me of that of the Thomas H Handy 2019 uh, B Tech Rye. You know, you can almost you can smell the malt on this particular sure. bottle. I mean, it's you know you really can. It's it's not something that you always get from a rye, but yeah. uh, it does have a higher malt in the mash bill, and you can smell it. It's dark. It I get some like t like burnt toffee. It lingers. 
Um, on, on the palate, there's definitely some, uh, some, like I said, dark toffee, and uh, it. There's a there's a touch. You can definitely taste the, you feel the burn of the proof, um, which is expected for almost 130 proof, um, but it's not overwhelming. It's not like oh my god, this is burning my tongue. Not at all. Yeah. It stays with you. Wow. And the finish, yeah, the finish. I'm still getting that. Like imagine like a Heath bar. If you were to put it in the oven, if you could, and burn it accidentally, it's got a little bit of that that kind of crispy, uh, the the char, uh, and maybe that's gosh, I don't know. That's interesting. It's it's not unpleasant. It's not like a nasty burn. It's uh, it's 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 a more interesting, slightly bitter toffee for me. What do you think? So Jack Daniels is known for having some of the banana notes. Yeah, for sure. Having some of the fruit notes. Especially in the rye, um, the very banana rye. I, I get a little bit of the banana, but honestly, I, I, it it leans towards the dark fruits. Mm -hmm. It's not quite as dark as we'd expect in some of the brown form and like the old forest products. I'm not getting dark cherry. I'm not getting dates. I'm not getting those heavier dark notes. Yeah. But I feel like it's leaning towards that back end of the. It's not bright banana candy. Exactly. You know exactly. what I mean? It's not where bright. Is, where's like the, the, the Jack Daniels single barrel ride, just the regular $50 version, is banana crazy. It's like yeah. banana, banana, yeah. banana, you know? Not, not getting that. More, yeah. It's darker than that. It's more complex too. It's, yeah. it's, it's nice. I actually, this is one that after we're done here, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a little tiny cube in. I don't mean a, a, a small person from Cuba. I mean a very tiny cube into the, uh, the, the whiskey to see if it... it it brings the, it obviously will bring the proof down a little bit. It might bring the, the bite of the, the front end of the palate down for me just a little bit, and it might make it a little bit richer. But I will say, this is a bourbon drinker's rye. That's interesting, yeah. I mean, it does, it yeah. sticks with you. I think the guys who are uh, interested in having a proof, having uh, a finish that sticks with you, having, you know, just that kind of bold, bold experience with the bourbon, mm -hmm. I think this does give it to you. Yeah, that's, that's interesting. It does give it to you. There aren't a lot of, I mean, besides BTAC, uh, Buffalo Trace Antique Collection, like Thomas Handy, which is hard to come by, there are not a lot of super, super high proof ryes available. Um, and yes, this is, you know, tough to find these days, but it's, it's more not, available. Not impossible. Yeah, more available than, than Handy. Um, and it's... I, my favorite, my favorite whiskeys in general, whether it's Scotch, bourbon, rye, are all things that are, are relatively high proof, but don't necessarily taste high proof, don't feel high proof. And this is this is verging on one of those. It, I do feel that burn a little bit, but it is uh, surprisingly not intense for 130 30 proof whiskey, which means that it has a lot of richness to it. I actually want to taste take, take a little bit more because I want to I want to. I, mean, I know I'm going backwards a bit here, but I do want to uh, analyze the nose a little bit more because, as I said, all the other Jack Daniels single barrel rye stuff has been just overwhelmingly banana on the nose. But I'm getting a little bit of tobacco in there. Yeah, I would say yes. You know, like, 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 like wet um, young tobacco, Certainly. you know, which is really interesting. I like that a lot, which I don't get that it's on like the... You said the single barrel rye times uh, the pick we did last year mm -hmm. um, was banana bread yeah you know I mean you had which the is great spice, which is cool you had the nuttiness you had the banana it was delicious yeah it's like a dessert a dessert rye yeah um, this is not in that this is not that definitely get definitely get a, a tobacco thing on there and a little bit of the oak and you were saying earlier um, as far as you know all Jack is between four and six years? Yeah, between four and six. I think they average around five years old. Okay. Uh, Jack Daniels is a machine. I mean, these guys are pumping out whiskey. Yeah. And the facility is gorgeous. Uh, the tours are wonderful. Mm. I mean, if you have an opportunity to go visit Jack Daniels, please do. Go check it out. Go see what these guys are doing. Uh, they're making a great product. Jack Daniels is not just Jack Daniels Black Label. Yeah, it's it's, it's funny. Not the things we had in college, right. not, you know, it's not that. That's right. These guys are really putting out great products. It's funny when you when you say the the words Jack Daniels, most people are, most people who are into whiskey are apprehensive. Are, are like, yeah, well, like, uh, Jack, uh, whatever, you know, that's on every bar and whatever. 
but they are doing some interesting things right now, which which I'm excited about. And I actually have never done a tour of Jack. I've, I've it's great. toured all the Kentucky. It's great. Yeah. Well, cool. Well, um, anything else you wanted to say about uh, Louisiana Bourbon Collective? I know as far as us for the collective guys, again, we welcome everyone. Uh, we welcome your experience or lack thereof. Right. We look forward to meeting you. We look forward to helping you. Uh, we look forward to, to being a part of your whiskey experience and, and helping you move forward in your journey. So uh, if you'd like to be a part of our group, please, please seek out the group or find a member who can invite you, and we'd love to have you. Great. And as always, um, please do click on that little logo right down there in the corner uh, and subscribe to Tasting Tuesdays. And I want to thank Blake Hebert so much, not only for, for participating today, but also bringing these great bottles. So I get to taste My them pleasure. too, and I didn't have to pay a damn penny. All right. So thanks so much, and I will see you next week.